Hey there, hope you're doing good. I am going to do a balloon smash today. I have never attempted this. I've seen a lot of people doing it. I haven't watched a lot of videos about it, but I, I've caught the generic gist of it. So I'm going to mix up some colors and um, I've picked Artist Loft Deep Yellow and this cup here is light magenta. This one is orange and Arteza Scarlet Red. I'm going to stick a little bit more of the Scarlet Red in. And then I'm not going to add silicone or OGX, I don't think, to this. I'm just going to do it regular. But I do have in my bottles, I have like a peacock teal like phthalo green color this is festive green which is a you know grassy green from deco art and my sour apple which i love the yellow green which will be the leaves and so i'm going to do a little swiping and then a little balloon smash thing over it and we'll see how it turns out okay so i'm going to zoom in just a little bit i'm going to mix my paints and i'll speed through this part they're all going to be one-to-one -one with Oatrol, which is just like Floetrol. Oatrol Easy Flow is a European company. I do the same ratio with Floetrol or Oatrol. It's one-to-one -to, -one to the paint. And I use a strainer just to make sure that they don't, there's no fluggers that go into my paint. And fluggers are a nice word for something else. And I think you can figure it out. So I just do this just to keep from having as many lumps as I can possibly keep away from. And generally with Oatrol, I don't really have that many issues with lumps. I was pouring a little Oatrol into my water bottle because my water bottle is 90% water, 10% Oatrol. And when I was pouring from there, a long one came out. So it probably had been on the side of the jug inside or at the top and that's where it came from. So I'm going to speed through this process and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, they're mixed. I'm using a 12 inch art canvas panel, 12 by 12 inch by Arteza, which I like their canvas panels. They work pretty well. So that is going to be what I pour on. And I don't want to get fingerprints, so I am going to start this with a white base coat. Just a skim coat, not much. And let me get it more in the camera area. Make sure your cups are towards the outskirts of your canvas on the corners. And that way your canvas is not going to be tilting or sagging or anything. But these are pretty good at not warping or you know moving much as you paint. Move it a little further up here so you can see the whole thing. I have it zoomed in a little bit so you can kind of see more up close. And so I'm going to put some white down. And you don't need much because it's just a canvas panel. It's not a canvas. So I don't have any sides to worry about. I just want a thin skin coat to give my paint something to uh, slide on just a little bit. And 
plus it helps take away the look of the grain of the canvas as well because even when it dries you still kind of see the grain of the canvas but if you have a layer of paint on top of it plus I want some white negative space so that's why I'm adding paint as well on the top just to make sure it's got a nice coat of white on top of the primer I'm just making sure it's to all the corners and all of it's covered. This is a Wilton icing and fondant spreader and it actually works really well. And if you have bubbles you can torch them. You can also blow and don't, you don't even have to use heat but you can also just blow with your breath and um, you know handle some of the bubbles like that. I'll bring these colors down here. But before I put the flower, I'm going to do, I'm hoping to make it look kind of like flowers. So I want to do some leaves, I think, beforehand. So I'm just going to randomly Do some drops. And this isn't necessarily all the leaves that I might have, but I'm just randomly putting some in first before I do anything else. So I like to have the deep to the light contrast. That gives it like all the shading in like one swipe. That's why I do this. And I could even balloon these, but I'm going to try to make them look a little bit more like leaves. So you just take, I've got my palette knife. Okay, so because there's a very light coat on this canvas, it went down to the canvas. And you can see it right there. So that wasn't enough paint. So let me do this again. I didn't put enough paint down. But that's okay. So you always have something to wipe on. So the key is I've really got to be really light with my touch. So I'm like barely skimming the surface and then easing up to um, to make it come to a point a little bit. Kind of lift your palette knife and you kind of twist it and that gives it that leafy feel. See I got some white on that. Even the white over it is really pretty. So I could even put a little white just around the edge where I'm going to swipe it in the opposite direction of it and it goes over the colors and just gives it a little different look. And see I can take my palette knife and just crisscross these. They might not even show in a little while when the paint sinks back in. But it's kind of a neat effect. It's kind of fun. I'll do a few more. So I'm going to put a little more paint down this time. So if you have a gap, you can kind of fill it in with your palette knife too, with the paint that's left on the palette knife. So, this is not going to define 
my flowers. I mean, I could I could just do leaves, and I would actually be really, really pleased with this. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to just do something different? But I might do another one and do that. So what I planned on doing, I have some wax paper right here. Uh, you can't see it probably, but I have a piece of wax paper that's on top of my butcher paper because I wanted to be able to put down some paints and just kind of trickle it around. So I've got the crimson red that's Arteza, the orange that's Artist Loft, But this gives me a place to put it down. Some yellow. And I think I'm going to throw in a few drops of dioxazine, dioxazine purple. Just drops. It has silicone in it, but none of these, these don't have the ones I just mixed do not have silicone or OGX. The bottles have silicone or OGX in them. I just continually add to them. And whatever my paint is in my cup that I have left over is what goes into it. So that's why I have all these beautiful cells that I love when I do swiping. But this, I didn't want the cells because it was going to be the focal point. So I decided not to put silicone in this part. And then I'm just going to do a few drops of white. And I don't know how this is going to look. I have no idea. So I blew up two balloons. And I don't know if people put water in them or not. I just put air in them. This one is a little smaller. This one's bigger, but it has more of a point to it. And this one is more round. So just something I observed. So I'm going to load up my paint on this balloon and just put it down on the canvas. And I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm just going to put it back in the paint. Whoops. So that really didn't do anything. Let me get the white off there. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to dab it and keep going. You can even roll it to the side to kind of, you know, move it around as well. I'm going to switch to this one and see if it does anything different. So you can kind of use this to manipulate your paint. So it's starting to blend in. So I'm going to do some more puddles. Because you want a little bit of that separation of color. I'm going to leave the white out this time just for the fun of it and see what happens. Oh, now that one was nice. Go back to this one. So you can kind of do sections even, like sections of the flower. 
as if it were petals. Do a little purple. Maybe stick a little white near the purple just to see if it makes it any lighter or not. I'm not sure how that will work. So, now I'm going to use just a little bit of this paint and I'm going to use my palette knife and just kind of make it look like little blooms somehow, I don't know. I want to just pretty much take my palette knife and kind of manipulate some of these. I'm not sure if I can. The, uh, the way the cells are doing on the edges is really cool. It almost looks like um, leafy lettuce that has the, the little edges that are kind of crimped and crinkled like that. It's kind of cool. Okay, I like this. So to me it doesn't look like the typical balloon 
smash or whatever but I like it because it's floral and I love anything with flowers so there is that I hope you enjoyed that if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I think I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna do something different I'll be back see you later check out all the links below the video and make sure to hit the bell if you're a subscriber in the bottom right corner hit the bell so you get notifications thank you